everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, Peace Old TV. Yes, this is my YouTube channel where I get to share topics regarding my faith, regarding lifestyle. I get to share opinions and ideas I feel will get to bless you or lift your spirit. So I get to post um, this video. So if you are new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscription button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell also so that you get up, um, you get notified whenever I get to post new videos. Okay, um, first and foremost, I want to appreciate every one of you for the encouragement so far, for the support, like, thank you so much, thank you, I really appreciate it, and my last video, I discussed the topic dealing with jealousy, if you are struggling with jealousy right now, you are depressed, you feel down, you feel you are not meeting up to expectation, just go and watch that video and believe that you'll be blessed from that video and I believe you also get to find answers to the questions you are asking. Alright, quickly I will just um, go to what we have today. We'll be discussing the topic, um, life is not a gift. Yes, life is not a gift. When you talk about a gift, a gift is something that once you've given it to someone, you don't request you don't you don't ask for it like it's no longer yours once you've given it to that person it no longer belongs to you it now belongs to that person you have no right it doesn't matter how much you got that gift you have no right over that um gift it now belongs to that person okay so when you say life is a gift you're not, you're not trying to say that this life is yours okay god is the giver of life we know that but it's not a gift in the sense that it is going to be requested of us by god okay this life is not ours. It belongs to God. So we, we could rightly say that life is a loan. Life is a loan. Because when you give a loan to someone, of course that person is going to pay back. If I, if I borrow you my car to drive, for instance, no matter how, how much you flaunt the car around the city, that car is not yours. You will definitely give that car back to me. That is how our life is. This life that has been given to us will definitely give it back to God. All right? And most times you agree with me that when you go to take loan from the bank, you have a business in mind okay because for you to pay back that loan with the interest attached to it you have to be doing something that will yield profit so that you are able to pay back that loan now whereby you are doing nothing it's become very difficult for you paying back that loan okay when you when you take a loan from the bank and you just keep it in your house like you keep it locked in your house in a box maybe you keep it safe somewhere you will never be able to pay back that loan now god is a profit maker god is not a waster and so god expects that we make profit out of the life he has given to us like we make profits for him out of the life he has given to us why we on earth before we finally be with him in heaven okay the gift god has given to us is simply the oxygen we breathe god is not going to demand oxygen of you he'll not come and say give me back my oxygen or give me back this oxygen but you see your life is going to request this life of you someday that is why you should be very careful with how you live your life knowing fully well that this life is not yours it belongs to god Okay, the Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 7 that dust will return back to the earth as it was or from where it came. But you see, the spirit of a man will return back to God who gave it. It's the spirit in us that makes us humans. The animals, they don't have spirit, they only have oxygen. So what differentiates us from these animals is that we have spirit. And once your spirit gets to leave you, you are no longer a human. Okay, so today we are going to be looking at two ways we can pay back this loan. Now, first and foremost, we're going to look at payments here on earth. You can pay back this loan on earth, and secondly, you can pay back this loan, or you will pay back this loan after you leave this earth. Now, how can you begin paying your loan while on earth? You pay your loan on earth by, first of all, giving your life to God and living a life void of sin. One, two, let your life, let the lifestyle you live get to draw men to God. If you are living your life and your life is not bringing men to God, you are not living to the fullness of the will of God for your life. Your life is meant to bring people to God. You are meant to stand out as an example that other persons will see and want to follow. Your life is supposed to be a challenge to others who are outside of God. They, want, they are meant to see you and want to know God. Your life is meant to attract souls to the kingdom of God. Your life is meant to demoralize the kingdom of darkness. Okay? You are not just meant to live and just die and go. No. 
you, you are meant to leave a footprint on earth. You are meant to take up a generation for Jesus Christ. You are meant to be a light in this dark world. In so doing, you are paying back the loan that God has given to you. Now, secondly, you are going to pay back this loan after you leave this earth. Like I said in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, that the spirit of a man will go back to God that gave it. Your spirit will return back to God. That is how it's supposed to be. But that is dependent on if you actually live your life here for God. If you don't live your life um, for God by on earth, there is no way you'll be with God in heaven. There is no way you'll be with God forever. You know, there are so many persons who live their lives on earth for God. They live to glorify God. In fact, through them, so many souls came to God. But unfortunately, they never ended up with God in heaven. Because while they were on earth, though they were living for God, people were seeing them, celebrating them, they were living for God. But in their secrets, they were doing things that were not giving God glory. So you are living a life of righteousness outside, but in the secret place, you are living a life of sin. Then you are deceiving yourself. Some of us, we are wasting our lives. This life is not yours. You're going to give it back to God. And that is why you should give God your life while you're on earth. Now that you are still living on earth, that you can first give God your life so that you can give it back to Him when you finally leave this earth. There is no amendment once we close our eyes in death. Moreover, what is life? Life is God and God is life. Take away God and then forget about life. A man has life when he's connected to God. When you disconnect from God, there is no life. Okay, the Bible does understand that it is God, the, the presence or the personality of God in us that makes us living beings. Without Jesus, because I mentioned Jesus because it is through Jesus Christ that we have access to God. Jesus is the only access to God. Okay, so many people believe in God, but whereby the Jesus factor is taken away, there is no assessing God. Jesus is the access to God. And that is why I, I, I urge you, listening to me right now, you should make your ways right with God. This life is born with my brother. It is not yours and it's going to be requested of you. Just like the parable of the talents. The master came back and he asked them, what did you use the talent for? The other one used it for nothing and he was punished. That is how we're going to be punished on the last day if we do not live our lives for God. We're going to while away our time in sin. Remember, sin is pleasurable, but the end is destruction. Sinners will end up in hell. But you see, you can save yourself the torments of hell by turning to God, by living a life for God. That is the only way you can pay back this loan. But if you are living the life of sin, name it, sinners will not make it to heaven. And that is why you should give your life to Jesus Christ. Now that you still can, He is the only way to the Father. When you give your life to Jesus Christ, He's going to turn your life around. Like, that doesn't mean you will not pass through challenges. Challenges will come. Anybody that tell you that when you give your life to Jesus Christ, you not face challenges, that person is lying to you. You have to. In fact, that is when you face a lot of challenges. But you see, the Bible says that we should be of good shape because Christ has overcome the world. He has overcome for us. And so with Jesus Christ or in Christ, we are overcome. We are going to face through these challenges and come on triumphantly. Okay? So please, I urge you, if you watch this video to the end, I appreciate you for watching to the end. But I wanted to go home with one thing, that this life is not a gift. It is a gift. But somebody gives you a gift. He will not take it back, but God gave us life, and He's going to ask this life of us someday, at the point of our death, when we return back to Him. So leave it to His glory, leave it for Him, and you're going to receive your reward. Alright? God bless you. Thank you so much. If you watch this video and you know your life is not right with God, you want to make your ways right with God, can you join me in this prayer? See, when somebody is in Christ Jesus, all things are possible, regardless of your past, regardless of your past mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes in my past, but in Christ, it's, 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 it's a whole new page. It's a whole new story. So please, you want to give a life to Jesus Christ. You know you've not been living your life to the glory of God. You've been living in sin. You've been trying so hard to fight it. Temptation keeps coming. You want to fight it, but you see yourself falling all over over and all over again and you want to make a man can you just join me as to pray right now can you just say dear lord jesus i thank you for my life i thank you for the gift of salvation i thank you for dying on the cross of calvary for me i have heard today that my life is more of a loan than a gift because someday you're going to require this life for me i ask that you help me to live this life to the fullest for your glory help me to live this life to show forth your goodness help me to live this life to show forth your praise give me the grace to live a life void of sin, help me to live a victorious Christian life, and then I'm able to finish my journey and finish well and finally be with you in God. Thank you, Father, for hearing me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you so much for, for praying alongside. I ask that you continue in this mind, live for God, continue to walk in line with the Holy Spirit as He leads you. Listen to the Holy Spirit because He's there to direct you into all things. Thank you so much and I hope to see you next time on my YouTube video. Like I said, if you are yet to subscribe, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get updated whenever I get to post new videos. 
Thank you so much for having to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. 